an MVB transformer is simple, elegant, PVC pipe into a homemade survival raft that is also man-powered in an attempt to survive the world's deadliest, sketchiest lake ever, Lake Piru. JK, it's just a lake with a slight breeze, but even that might prove to bring me hardship. But at least I'll have a hardship. Ooh, you suck. Okay, I'm done. Let's, let's go get into the build. So I made this little work area. I'm calling it the shop because I don't have a shop. So I think it's nice. The shop. First thing I need to do is make a floating platform. So I measured my two by fours to fit around an air mattress, which is a technique I did not learn in the wood shop class. Then I cut the wood and put it all together. I then came to a sudden horrifying realization. I realized I forgot to get plywood from the store. No! But luckily I have an old crappy piece of plywood. <laughs> I then took a saw to the plywood, attached it to the 2x4 frame, and boom! This is gonna float really well. Now that the flotation platform was complete, the next step is to build a propulsion assembly. I prepped the PVC pipe and fitted them all together. Just so you guys understand, this kind of allows you to row and it'll rotate these. I'll have paddles on the end of these poles, but basically I'm gonna have a rudder system as well. If this boat is starting to look somewhat familiar, that's because Chris built it years ago and I'm attempting to redeem it since it immediately sank. Oh, and I'm also gonna make it look a lot better. Let me show you how. So one thing that will make this look real is you wanna kinda of scratch it up because real bamboo has little cracks and stuff in it. So basically you wanna take a metal file and just kinda of scrape it a little bit. So when I start coloring it, you're really gonna see these lines stand out pretty well. So the next thing we're gonna do on bamboo, there's like little rings every like foot or so that go around it and it kind of bows out a little bit. So basically we're gonna take this pipe cutter, kind of like create this spot where it's kind of got this, these rings, these kind of deep scratches in this kind of one spot because we're gonna heat it up. But basically you take this heat gun and you just kind of start heating that spot and it should start to kind of turn brown as well. So it gets kind of soft and then you kind of just want to squish it a little bit. It's usually good to have some cold water too to help it cool off, which I did forget to get that. Okay, so this actually looks very good. I feel like that looks really good. To me, this is fun. I don't know why this is so fun, but it is, this is just fun to me. The next step, I've got this stuff called shellac. You just kind of lather it on there. But yeah, the shellac really makes the creases come out a little bit, all that damage we did to it earlier. So I've been uh, making bamboo for the last three days. But I would say it looks pretty dang good. If someone was like, hey dude, is that bamboo? I'd be like, yeah, dude, yeah. And they'd be like, oh sick, it is bamboo. Uh, I, feel, I actually really like this technique, it's super sweet. Right, Cedric? You like the bamboo? And he likes the bamboo too, so. Now that I'm finally done making all the stinking bamboo, I can finally assemble everything onto the raft and then it'll be complete. I am very thankful for that, but. Look at this thing, this thing is sick. I got all, everything screwed down, touched up the paint. Now that I have this object, I'm like, okay, I feel like I've accomplished something. We're not done yet though. So there's a bunch of PVC pipe bits all over my grass. I decided I'm gonna start just try vacuuming it. And I realized that I'm the most ridiculous person on the planet. I'm literally vacuuming my lawn right now. Who does that? It actually works pretty well. Okay, so I added these little attachment bracket things to the sides. This is where like my steering and my powertrain assembly are all gonna be attaching to. I don't know if a powertrain's the right word. I just, um, the last thing to do is just to build it, build it out and then we'll set it on the mattress and it's good to go. So let's get this thing assembled. See that? That's how this thing's gonna work, baby. Last step, just gotta put these uh, paddles on the rowing stick things, the power train. I don't know why I keep calling it the power train. I, I don't, this doesn't sound right, but the, the, uh, the, the paddle assembly, the 
rotator potato. I, I don't know. I'm done. Basically, these guys will fit in these slots here. They're actually kind of going snugly. I'm going to screw them in though, because if they fell out, that'd be really annoying. I feel like Moses with the staff, but guys, it is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're about to find out if this thing works. So, oh my gosh. Yes, it works. Let's see about this. Yes, dude, this totally works. This literally works so well. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get the rudder on though. So if I drop this, it's gonna be a problem. <sighs> Essentially, this goes in here, goes up like that, and then I take this, put this on. Okay, take our screw. Guys, this is my only screw. If I drop this screw, that's gonna suck. Why do I only bring one screw? This is so bad. Okay, please don't fall in. Yes, go. Go, yes. Now I can turn this and hope it works. Oh gosh. All right, I wanna turn this way. Dude, it literally is, it's working. Wait, is it working? Yeah, I'm turning right now. It's very slow, so it, it does work, but it's very slow which is, I guess, kind of expected. We don't have another boat to get me. It's like turning a giant semi-truck or like a giant ocean liner. It's a raft, I don't know why it feels like this. It is turning though. I mean, we've almost turned 90 or 180 degrees. Get some POV action. Oh yeah. Okay, so one of the risks I'm taking right now is there's only one air mattress. So if something were to happen with that, that could be super bad. I think it's safe to say, guys, that A, it floats, and B, it, it does turn. So we did, in fact, succeed in making Chris's raft better. So you know what? That's a mission success, guys. The wind is kind of taking me somewhere I don't want to go right now. The wind picked up, and I am now blowing off course. I'm going to end up in this little swampy area. This is very unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Oh no, I'm about to hit some bushes. Please don't pop my raft. I hope that I didn't pop my raft. I guess we're gonna find out. Dude, this is literally taking me in the worst possible direction. No, freaking bushes. Dude, this is so bad. I'm literally in the worst possible part of this lake. Right into a tree, great. Bro, this sucks. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck right now. The wind is pushing me against this tree and I'm like stuck. Yeah, so the wind picked up and uh, took me to a place that I don't want to go. And we have the drone pilot just sitting there watching me, just not doing anything to help. <laughs> just probably laughing at me right now. <sighs> it's too windy. Well, my goal is to make it back to shore without getting wet, but unfortunately, seems like this isn't gonna be the case. Can't get unstuck from the spot, so looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Okay, jumping in three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> 